Okay, let's go ahead and bounce back into the webinar. The, uh, the last thing I want to um, talk about is sequence importing and simplification. Uh, for, for folks who are in the PPD Sequence Club, we really appreciate it. Uh, and one of the things, one of the questions that we get asked often is, uh, I got the Rosa wreath or I got uh, the mother of all wreaths and uh, how do I map that sequence into, uh, how do I map your pro layout sequence, the PPD wreath, how do I map that to my HD prop? And it's a, a huge question that we've been, uh, not that we've wrestled with it, we understand it because we know, we, we, we understand that all it takes is just mapping. But uh, you spend a lot of money on a prop like that. I mean, the, the prop costs 60 bucks to buy it now, and then you're going to put, you know, 500 pixels into it, and 500 pixels isn't, you know, anything cheap anymore. So you're, you're making a nice investment, and you're going to spend a lot of money, and you want your prop to look really, really good. So having these extra effects that we put in to create the, the really neat looking uh, effects and the, the way that the, like the PPD wreath comes out, you want that same kind of feeling, but you want to be able to draw that out of the rosary wreath or uh, the mother of all wreaths or the, the grand illusion. Uh, or, or even even into some of the Boscoyo stuff. There's the new Bellflower that just came out this year. There's the there's also the new um, uh, the Mesmerizer that came out last year. So uh, that's what we want to get into is how we simplify this. And what we did uh, here at PPD was we created what we're calling the PPD certified models. Now. Um, it's kind of odd. Why would we certify a model? Well, uh, for the people who are in the club who have uh, um, uh, have access to our pro layout sequences and you're, you're downloading them every month, uh, this is going to simplify it for you. If you've already downloaded the model and you're using like the, the Rosa wreath or the Grand Illusion, what we've done is we've already taken the time to go in and look at a number of the models created that are actually created by uh, the vendor or are, uh, are posted by the vendor. And what we did was we downloaded them and we set up the PPD sequencing groups uh, inside all of those models. And what happens is you'll be able to bring this model into your layout uh, and be able to easily map from the pro layout into that model. Um, the idea is that you'll um, uh, that we've utilized again. These are published models by the prop vendors such as Boscoyo. These are in the downloads. These are the same ones. We're not creating brand new models. All we're doing is we're taking the existing models that have been provided by the vendors, and we are either building submodels into them that make sense or fixing the submodels that were in there, and we're creating groups that make it easy for you to map the effects from the pro layout into them so uh, these are not models like again these are not models that we made up or we picked up or we we get them only from the the vendor download or they're directly from the vendor themselves because w the important thing is, is we're using their wiring because we want to use the way they set up the prop so we're not wiring a prop we're not creating the model we're using something that's already been created by the uh, by the original creator uh, and then obviously uh, obviously we're uh, you can get to these through the PPD website these are free to the entire community there's no you don't have to sign in or anything all you have to do is uh, go to the PPD website, go to the learning area, which is under the PPD club, or it's on the front page of the website, and click on the PPD certified models. It'll take you right to this page. This is a little walkthrough of what certified models are. Please read this. And um, there's also a disclaimer. Uh, and that warning, that disclaimer is, make sure that whatever model you download from the PPD website, it matches exactly wired-wise. Look at the wiring layout matches the prop that you already have. We want you to make sure that first before you do anything because if you replace your model with our model and you've wired it differently than the one we posted, then, then it, it's going to not work correctly. So um, the important thing is, is that you verify first before you do this. So what we recommend and we suggest is back up your layout prior to um, importing any models in and replacing any of your models. 
if you are downloading a model for the first time and you haven't wired it yet, so you just got the Rosa wreath and you want to see how it, you can download from our website and you can use that wiring. That's the exact same one that was created initially with it. But we've gone through and taken the time to put everything into PPD uh, groups so that it's easy for mapping. So that's the warning. Um, but why certified models? Well, there's a lot of, uh, over the past few years, ever since the introduction to these HD props back, um, I, I would say probably two years ago, it was kind of the kickoff to it. Um, pixels dropped from $40, uh, 40 or $45 for a uh, 100 count pa uh, pack of pixels. They, they dropped to 20 cents, then 15 or 16 cents a piece. And people started buying pixels instead of orders of, 3,000 or 2,000 or 4,000, they started getting 10,000 pixels. And as you could get cheaper pixels, people started putting more pixels into their prop and making everything as high definition with pixels as possible. So this is why we did certified models. Um, we realized that people continue to ask us uh, the same question, how, how, do I, uh, how do I map this to this prop from your, from your sequence? Um, and one of the important things we kept saying over and over again was all x lights effects can map to any prop. And for some reason, people have a hard time saying, well, I see your snowflakes, but I don't have snowflakes. I have uh, butterflies. Uh, well, the snowflake and the butterfly are the same thing. They're just a different form factor. And the effects will work on them. But it's hard for somebody who's new to understand that. So this is the reason for the certified models. There, there are vendors that, uh, and I swear I've heard this in the past, they say, this effect will not work on, th on that prop from that vendor. And it, 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 it's very annoying and frustrating to hear that because any effect in X-Lights works on any prop. It's just how it's rendered. And as long as the submodels are built correctly, which a number of them were not, uh, as long as the groups are built correctly, which some of them had no groups, uh, as long as you take the time to build those, you can have very simple and very easy mappings and don't have to even think about it. And that's why we did the certified models, was to make it easier for people. So uh, the submodels were assigned to our PPD groups. Um, for the popular HD props, such uh, as ones that you see here, you've got the Rosa wreath. This is the, the candy cane love um, uh, spinner. And then you have the grand illusion there on the bottom right. Uh, what we did was we took the PPD groups and assignments and, uh, and, and that takes the guesswork out of mapping. Many people will have asked us, how do I map the mother of all wreath or the Rosa wreath? So obviously adding our PPD groups to these models, they'll automatically populate when you import them into your layout and you don't even have to do the work for them. There's a, but, uh, a couple buttons to click, you just click okay a number of times and it auto populates into your layout. It's very, very, very simple. Um, uh, and again, we fixed several broken or incorrect submodels. We fixed a number of the submodels were, were just built in reverse and they didn't, they didn't mirror correctly. But again, um, uh, it's a work in progress. Keep in mind that it's a work in progress. Uh, adding a certified model into your layout, this is what's going to happen. If you import one of our certifi certified models, models, these are the groups that you're going to start seeing in your layout. You'll see what we have in our, exactly what's in our pro layout, which is the snowflakes and the three snowflake submodel groups. You'll see the spinners and the three spinner submodel groups. You'll see the PPD wreath submodel groups as well as the wreath rings groups. So those will automatically be brought into your layout for you. Uh, unfortunately, x lights will, every time you bring another new one in, it will go through the process of trying to bring them in. But whenever you do bring a second version of a different prop in with these groups, if it has submodels attached to it, it will bring those submodels and it will populate them for you without you having to go back and fill them in. So not only is it bringing the model in for you, it's putting the submodels in the groups for you. So it's no work. It's literally no work. And since the groups now exist in your layout and you buy another, let's say, a Gilbert Snowflake, it will populate. Um, it will populate the certified models from the download into the same groups that are already there. You never have to sit there, right click, create group, rename it. Uh, and then also it doesn't overwrite any of your existing groups. So um, unless you already have these groups named exactly as we have them named, it doesn't overwrite them, it just adds to them. So that's, that's absolutely something that is nice.
keep in mind not every group will have a model in it what does that mean well a snowflake is a snowflake uh, a spinner is a spinner a wreath is a wreath um, but every prop is different so for example snowflakes are only going to go into the snowflake groups but it's also going to bring in the spinner groups and it's going to bring in the wreath groups if you bring in the rosa wreath it's going to bring in the wreath groups and it's going to assign different submodels into those different groups but it's not going to populate the snowflake group it's not going to populate the spinner group because it's not part of those groups in our layout so if there's an empty if, if you imported the rosa wreath and it all the ppd wreath groups filled up great and then you see that the snowflakes didn't put anything in there for the snowflakes that's the way it's supposed to be because when we sequence we're sequencing that hd prop on the 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 ppd wreath the the mesmerizer spinner for example is a spinner but it's but it's also got some other HD elements to it. So we took the time and we did a little bit of extra mapping. We pulled some groups from the PPD wreath and put them, uh, put them and applied them to the mesmerizer so that there's a little bit more variation other than just the, the spinner arms and the spinner rings. The reason that um, an HD prop is not in has doesn't have something in every group is because at any given time the spinner is doing something the snowflake is doing something and the ppd wreath is doing something if you have one prop doing three things at one time it may not look good at all you can always again we just spent 40 minutes going through how you can customize your uh individual models and and sub models this is why having this functionality is nice because you you can go back to those first steps that I talked about earlier and you can sit there and do some customizing to those specific submodels that may not look as nice with the import so every import's going to be different um, and everything should line up really well and should look good just with a simple rendering of the sequence so if you import m multiple certified models what's nice is the the groups are already there it will auto populate the rest of the submodels into their respective groups for you automatically so it removes that need to build the groups as i said before this is all done automatically after you've done one and you do another and another it automatically adds them into the groups just you know seamlessly um, the other reason that we would we recommend this is probably the biggest reason which is mapping the bigger your show gets the larger your map gets and uh, whenever you can use the function called whoops auto map whenever you're on this screen once you have all of these here you can see the names will match up identically with the uh, groups on the pro layout so you can click the auto map button and then anything not used you can feel free to click and drag over to where it belongs oops excuse me um, and you can map it any way you like once this is done you can click save mapping and then you create one map and you can load that map every time you load a sequence and do your map from month to month or uh, anytime you download a, se a sequence. So each year, in other words, each year you can re-import your pro layout sequences from the prior year and you can update your new layout simply and easily just by creating a new map each year. So that's what's nice about the pro layout. If you keep your sequences from the last year or you decide to run them again, you just re-import them. Don't try to open up and do last year's sequence over again. Use the new layout. Just import the old sequence inside of it. And you, if you've taken the time to do this, you'll, you'll have a lot of auto mapping that you just one click or you can hit load mapping after you've created one master map, so to speak. So again, I said this earlier, the certified models are a work in progress. Uh, these are manually updated by the PPD team. When, when there's time, the team does it. Um, this is all voluntary. Uh, so uh, if you find an issue or you have a question about them, there is on the certified page, I'll even, I'll even zip over to it real quick, go to the certified models page. You can scroll down here, these are the uh, this is the about video, this is the warning video, and then this is the how to do it video. Um, but this is the um, form that you would fill out if you should happen to find a model that, uh, or a group of submodels that doesn't seem to be doing something correctly, say they're still not functioning the right way, you can, you can put a request in here with your, your name, your email address, a link to the prop, 
uh, from the vendor's website so we make sure we have the right model. And then um, if there's, uh, you for, for let's say there's a submodel request, in other words, uh, the submodel that you found is not working right, it doesn't match, it's not congruent, they're not going in the same direction, uh, you found a bug uh, or some other issue, go ahead and, and click uh, and write down that, um, that issue down below and then uh, obviously you're not a robot so check that and hit the submit button and that goes to the team who does do the certified models uh, I don't get the email uh, and if you have a PM if you want to send me a PM keep in mind that since I don't physically do these the team does these and they volunteer their time everything has to go through the website so just keep that in mind um, but we're happy to um, we're happy to do any of the models to set up the groups for these models ahead of time if as long as it's the sub uh, the the model that is the exact wiring diagram from the original creation that's on the download for the model from the original vendor, uh, we we would love to do just our own models, but creating models takes a lot of time, and creating sub models takes even more time. So, uh, with that in mind, um, that is the certified sub models, and uh, you're welcome to check that out. The certified submodels are, are ridiculously easy to bring in, and you're welcome to go ahead and watch those other videos uh, that are listed here. This this will walk you through it. I've done a I've done a 10 or 12 minute video on exactly how to do that. So, uh, if you have any questions at this time, you're welcome to go ahead and uh, unmute your microphone, and we're happy to answer them.